Welcome to this exciting tutorial. Today, we're diving into the world of real-time hand gesture recognition using MediaPipe and OpenCV on the powerful NVIDIA Jetson Orin Nano Super. By the end of this video, you'll have a working program capable of detecting gestures like hello, like, and dislike. So, let's get started. Before we start, make sure you have the following ready. Python 3.7 or later installed on your Jetson Orin Nano Super. OpenCV Python, Media Pipe, a USB camera, or any compatible video capture device. In this tutorial, we will use a USB camera, which you can get on Cytron Marketplace. Its plug-and-play functionality makes it much easier to use compared to CSI cameras, which often have fragile clips, are harder to mount, and are not as portable. With the USB camera, you can focus on your project without hardware hassles and compatibility issues. It supports high resolutions that can be verified using the following command. Here's a summary of its capabilities. Maximum resolution of 2592 by 1944 at 15 frames per second. 1920 by 1080 resolution at 30 frames per second for smoother gestures. Lower resolutions, like 640 by 480, are also supported at 30 frames per second for lightweight applications. Compared to a CSI camera, the USB camera is much easier to use. It can be easily plugged in and removed without dealing with fragile clips. Its robust build ensures durability and reliability for continuous use. The versatility of a USB connection means you can use it with multiple devices effortlessly. First, we need to install OpenCV and MediaPipe library using the following commands. Now let's create a new Python file for our project. You may use any code editor for this, but right now I'm using Nano Text Editor. Open your terminal and type the following command. Start writing the code by importing the required libraries, OpenCV, MediaPipe, Time, and Math for gesture calculations. Before implementing the full code, let's have a general overview on MediaPipe's Hand Landmarks library, which is the core of this project. It detects 21 unique points on your hand, from your fingertips to your wrist. These landmarks enable precise tracking of finger positions and movements. For example, Landmark 0 represents the wrist, while Landmarks 4, 8, 12, 16, and 20 correspond to the tips of your thumb and fingers. Understanding these points is crucial for defining gestures. Now let's define the functions to detect specific gestures. We'll start with the hello gesture, which detects if all fingers are extended. Similarly, you can define functions for gestures like like and dislike by analyzing the thumb's position and curling of other fingers. Next, we'll implement the main function to process the camera feed and apply our gesture detection functions in real time. This loop continuously captures frames, detects hand landmarks, and overlays the recognized gestures on the video feed. You can get the full code on the tutorial page link on the description. Run the program and test it by showing gestures in front of your camera you'll see the detected gestures displayed in real time. This tutorial demonstrated how to implement hand gesture recognition using MediaPipe and OpenCV on NVIDIA Jetson Orin Nano Super. Although the NVIDIA Jetson Orin Nano Super may seem overkill for this simple project, you can elevate this project. Like for example, controlling external devices through the Jetson GPIO pins. Here are some ideas to inspire you. Control a servo motor with a wave gesture. Toggle LEDs with an open hand or closed fist gesture. Automate appliances using relays for home automation. Build robots that respond to hand gestures. The possibilities are endless. We can't wait to see what you create. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tutorials. Visit Cytron.io for more innovative projects and resources. See you in the next video.